This is why it's dangerous to make demonic covenants. Hey honey, are you still working on that project? Yes, it's due tomorrow, but I am almost done. You know that I don't like leaving my work unfinished. Yes, I know Fred, but it's almost 2 a.m. I barely hear you come to bed these days. You always stay up late, and I'm getting worried. Is anything wrong? We have had this discussion before. There's nothing wrong. I've just had a lot of backlog from work over the past three months. Let me remind you that they sent an email to all employees, stating that the management will downsize soon. I surely don't want to be on the list of those who will lose their jobs. After all, I am the sole breadwinner in this house. If I lose my job, we shall be kicked out of this house. We shall literally have nowhere else to go to. Okay, I appreciate how hard you work for this family. You mean for the two of us? We have been married for more than nine years, Maria, but we are yet to get a child. The doctors have done multiple tests on us, and they concluded that there is nothing wrong with both of us. I don't mean to stress you, I'm sorry if I did. Anyway, let's change the topic. Mom will be coming over on Friday. She called me today, as I was at work, but I forgot to tell you about it. How long will she be staying with us? She didn't say. Please prepare for her stay. Okay, I will. Hi mom, sorry I'm late. I was caught up in a meeting that extended a little over an hour. I hope I haven't kept you waiting for long. Well, it's been 45 minutes since I arrived. Why didn't you send for a taxi to pick me up? Unfortunately the taxi association called for a strike since Monday this week. Therefore, no taxis have been in operation this whole week. We shall have to go home by bus. Oh, how lovely. And where is your car? It's at the garage. It has been there for the past three days. I decided to take it there for major repairs after it broke down on me. Oh. Here's the bus. Make yourself comfortable, Mom. I've called Maria and she has told me she's ten minutes away. She had gone to the market to shop for supplies. Thank you, son. However, I'd like to have a small conversation with you before she arrives. When are you two going to give me a grandchild? You are my only child, and I want to see my grandchildren before I leave this world. Mom, we've had this discussion before. I don't wish to revisit it. I'm telling you this because I received some worrying news from my doctors. They have found some traces of cancer in my cells, so I don't know how much time I have left. I wanted to tell you this in person, hence the reason for my visit. I don't know what to say, Mom. I cannot imagine my life without you. However, I don't want to think of it negatively. I'm sure the doctors will be able to give us a solution. Back to my question. It's been almost a decade since you married Maria, but you are yet to be blessed with a child. Why don't you get another wife, or get a child with another woman? You know that we are still waiting on God. But to be honest mom, I don't know what to do anymore. We have visited different doctors, and they all say that there's nothing wrong with both of us. I'm giving you a solution. You need to think about yourself at this point. I need a grandchild urgently, so just get yourself another woman. Mom, this is wrong. This Maria cannot even stay at home to welcome me, her own mother-in-law. I told you that she was never the woman I would have chosen for you son. This whole conversation is giving me a big headache. I think that's her. Let's talk about all this later on. I cannot keep coming home to the same discussion, over and over again. My mother will stay over for as long as she'd like. But haven't you noticed that our arguments have gotten worse? Since she arrived two weeks ago? No, she's not the reason for our arguments, Maria. Yes, she is. I don't know what to do anymore, Fred. 
she has become increasingly unbearable. All she tells me now is to leave you so that you can marry someone else. Is that the reason why your suitcase is on the bed? Are you trying to leave me? It's better I go to my mom's place just for a few days, until I get my thoughts right. At this point, I may act out of character, if I don't put some distance between myself and your mother. <laughs> okay then. What more can I say? I love you. I hope you know that. I love you too, Fred. I'm happy to see you, my daughter. I know it's under strange circumstances, but you're more than welcome to stay here. Thanks, Mom. Thanks for having me. I just feel bad about my recent arguments with Fred. Why don't we sit down and have a cup of coffee as you tell me what happened? What's going on, dear? Fred's mom came to stay with us two weeks ago, but I have had no peace since her arrival. Fred and I have been arguing since then. Sorry to hear that. What have you been arguing about? Why we haven't had any child since we got married, almost ten years ago. All I can say is that we have tried. We have gone to many specialists, but they all tell us that there is nothing wrong with us. Oh God. I cannot keep this secret anymore. I cannot keep seeing my daughter suffer like this. I know there are consequences in telling her the truth, but I think at this point, it's is very important. What would you like me to do for you? I would like to ask the Oracle to give me children. Please, my husband is threatening to leave our marriage. I can already see your womb is closed, and that you are barren. That is where your problem lies. Isn't there anything you can do for me? There is one thing that the Oracle asks of you. But it will come at a cost. The Oracle will grant you one child, a girl, if you only agree to sell her womb to us. That's a bit too steep of a deal. Can't the Oracle take my womb instead? No, your womb is of no use to us. It's either you agree to this, or you will have no baby. The choice is yours. Do we have a deal or not? I really don't have a choice here. Yes, I agree. It's a deal. Good. You've made the right choice. The Oracle also emphasizes that you keep this agreement to yourself. Otherwise, you and your daughter will not live long after you have revealed this. Is this understood? Yes, understood. Mom. Mom, are you all right? I need to tell you something very important. May God give me the grace to give you this message. I experienced the same problem that you now have in your marriage. Your late father's family had pressured me into having a child, or else your father would leave me. I did not know God at that point in time, so I visited an oracle worker. However, the deal I made came with serious consequences. I was promised a baby girl, only if I would agree to sell her womb to the oracle. What? Why would you do that? I thought that I didn't have a choice at the time, so I agreed to this deal. The devil is surely a liar. This, according to me, was the only way that I could have saved my marriage. I cannot believe this. I was also warned that you and I would leave this earth prematurely, if I ever told anyone about this. But I can no longer watch you suffer like this. I'm sorry that I kept this information from you, but I thought that I was saving you by doing so. Ha huh, mom? You knew what was going on this whole time, but you kept quiet. I don't know what to say to you mom. How could you watch me suffer like this? knowing that you're the reason why I'm in this situation? Please forgive me Maria. 
I didn't know what else to do at the time. I'm so sorry. I'm very angry with you mom. I feel like I need to go for a very long walk. Excuse me.